in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Our today's topic is calculating number of atoms or molecules, and uh, it is a chemistry topic for class ninth and tenth. So today you are going to learn a few aspects of chemical calculations like converting moles into number of molecules or finding the number of molecules or number of atoms if number of moles are given. So in today's uh, lesson we will restrict ourselves to learning only how to convert moles into molecules or if the moles of some element are given to you how can you find the number of atoms present in that amount. Now let us calculate the number of atoms. So here we are going to understand this with the help of an example uh, that is how to calculate the number of atoms in each of the following atoms and part A is 3.4 moles of nitrogen atoms. So for finding the number of atoms in if the number of moles of an element or atoms are given to you will be the same which we use for finding the number of molecules that is the number of atoms is equal to number of moles into Avogadro's number so let us find number of atoms present in 3.4 moles of nitrogen atoms so number of moles given to us are 3.4 Avogadro's number is 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 and number of atoms are to be found. The formula which we have used is number of atoms is equal to number of moles into Avogadro's number and by putting the values of uh, these variables. So we have simply multiplied 3.4 with 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 and the number of atoms which we have got is 2.05 into 10 raised to the power 24 atoms so uh, you can see how simply we have found the number of atoms if number of moles are given to us so basically uh, you you might have noticed in all of these three solved examples that the number of molecules or the number of atoms does not present in certain moles of a substance does not depend on the type of the substance it only depends that how many moles of a substance are given to you. For example, in the first two examples where we found molecules, uh, we simply multiplied the number of moles with Avogadro's number. And uh, then in this last example where we have found the number of atoms in nitrogen, uh, in 3.4 moles of nitrogen atoms, we have simply multiplied number of moles with uh, Avogadro's number. So uh, from these three examples we can also conclude that uh, the same number of moles of any substance contains same number of molecules or same number of atoms. Now let me also discuss that in the last example which we have discussed for finding the number of atoms in nitrogen atoms if instead of uh, nitrogen atoms the word nitrogen molecules would have written then how we would have calculated the number of atoms in nitrogen molecules its method would have been a little bit different which we will discuss inshallah in the next video lecture now let us discuss how to calculate number of atoms is if mass of a substance is given to you. For example, if you calculate the number of atoms present in 23 grams of sodium. So here in this question, mass of sodium is already given to you and you have been asked to find number of atoms. So let us solve this question. That is what we have to find here is number of atoms and mass of sodium given is 23 grams while molar mass of sodium is 23 and the formula which we are going to use is number of atoms is equal to mass in grams into Avogadro's number over molar mass 
now if we put the values in this formula then as mass in grams is 23 grams and molar mass of sodium is 23 so after putting these values into this formula for finding number of atoms the answer which we have got that is number of atoms is 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23. Here is another example for calculating number of atoms if mass is given to you. And here we are going to calculate the number of atoms present in 5 grams of hydrogen atoms. So we are going to use the same formula which we used for solving uh, the previous question that is number of atoms is equal to mass in grams into Avogadro's number over molar mass. Now in this question, uh, what we have to find? We have to find number of atoms while mass of hydrogen is 5 grams and molar mass of hydrogen atoms is 1 gram per mole and the formula which we are going to use is number of atoms is equal to mass in grams into 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 over molar mass. Now, if we put the values in this formula, uh, that is uh, mass in grams is 5 and molar mass is 1. So, number of atoms which we have found are 3.01 into 10 raised to the power 24. Okay, now, we are going to calculate number of molecules if mass is given to us. So, here we are going to understand this with the help of an example. That is, what is the number of molecules in 9 gram of steam? And, uh, and the chemical formula of steam is water. So, in other words, you can say that we are going to find the number of molecules in 9 grams of water. So, here the <coughs> given mass of is uh, 9 grams. Given mass of water is 9 grams. And the formula which we will use is the same as we used in the previous two examples that is number of molecules is equal to mass into Avogadro's number over molar mass. So uh, mass uh, of water here is 9 grams while molar mass of water is 18 grams per mole and after putting these values in this formula the number of molecules which we have found for steam are 3.011 into 10 raised to the power 23. In the next video, we will discuss how to find the mass of a substance if its number of atoms or molecules are given to you. Hope you would have enjoyed today's lesson. Okay. Allah Hafiz. Happy learning.